I'm going to stay on the path. I'm going to stay on the path. I'm going to stay on the path. And I'm going to the I'm going to treat everybody. I'm going to treat everybody right. Try my best to treat everybody right. Treat everybody right. I'm going to treat everybody right. So in the arm we have to go we have to hold the blood. Oh, 
of soldiers in the army. We have to fight for tomorrow. We have to try. We have to hold up, hold up the blood stain. We have to hold it up, have to hold it up till we hold up the of soldiers in the army. We have to fight. Although we have to try, we have to hold up. We have to hold it 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 up. Have to hold it up. To be. We have to hold We have to hold it up. We have to hold it up. Keep standing for right. Keep standing for right. We have to hold it Good morning, good morning, good morning. I invite you to put your hands together and give our great God a great praise. Come on, come on, come on. For this is the day that the Lord has made. Now, I don't know about you, but I choose to rejoice and be glad. And why don't you stand all over the house? Stand over. It's our youth for Sunday today. Let's just tell how great is our God. Splendor of a king. Oh, clap your hands and all the earth rejoice and all the world rejoice. He wraps himself in light and darkness and darkness tries to hide and tremble that is born. Trembles at his voice. You know that part say, say how great is our God. Come on, we know this part. Is our God. Oh, see God. How great is our God. Is our God. Can I take the verse one more time? The splendor of a king. Blue and majesty. Blue and majesty. And all the world rejoice. And all the world rejoice. And all the world rejoice. He wraps himself. He wraps himself in light. Darkness tries to hide. But darkness tries. And triple that is voice. And triple that is voice. And triple that is voice. Come on, it's our God. Hey, you know, we go. How great is our God? It's our God. Hey, don't you see how great, how great, how great is our God? If he's a great God, put your hands together and sing, How great is our God? Hey, sing with me. How great is our God? Oh, now, God, come on, let's go back a little bit. Go with me. Oh, say this, say, 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 you came from heaven to show the cross. From the grave to the sky. Lord, I name. Uh, come on, there was one time you came from heaven. Yeah. You came from heaven, found your work to show the way. Sound God, 
Then sings my Somebody say he's a great God. He's a great God. And we worship him for being a great God. Let the church say amen. It's just good one more time to be in the house of the Lord, to see that the Lord has kept us for another week, to see that in spite of everything that has gone on around us, we are still here and in the land of the living. And if you are like me this morning and you feel good about that, can we just give the Lord a hand, praise and thank him. Amen. As Michael Sims makes his way up to lead us in prayer this morning, I would just want to say thank you to each and every one of you. For your prayers, I will give you updates so you don't have to ask me later on. Uh, my mother is fine. She's back home. Um, there's this thing in life called age. There's this thing in life called itis. And there's this thing in life called bad knees. And when you put them all together, I don't know about them because I'm not claiming any of them. Um, sometimes it makes mobility rather difficult. Um, but after a lengthy um visit to the hospital and us sitting there all night and day. Um, this is what bothers me about hospitals, amen. Um, after all the x-rays, Miss Gertrude, they said, here, take these two Tylenol and put this lidocaine patch on and go home and see how that works. Um, and by that time, it was probably one or two in the morning, And um, but we have her set up to go to a orthopedic on Friday, and Lord willing, everything will be all right. But she is back home. She is doing what she Praise does God. best sleeping amen and um but again i thank you all for your your prayers um it's just good i i was here yesterday you all made me proud i was like mm, guess queenstown they wore y'all out i saw y'all in y'all chair see i came incognito so you wouldn't even know i was down here i saw you all sitting out in your chairs if you don't believe me i'm gonna call the roll um because Dale saw me. Did you not, Dale? Amen. Dale was right over at Donald Kess' house. Miss Gertrude, you were up the street, right? I, I told you, I saw y'all. Tammy, you were down at the park. Just because you didn't see me don't mean I didn't see you. Amen. I learned how to be incognito. Miss Miss Genevieve, slip in and slip out. Get my Make my way through it. Plus, I already called Michael Sims and asked, can I get in without anybody seeing that it's me? And I was able to. So if y'all want to know why you didn't see me, ask Michael. He'll let you know. But again, I'm just glad that the Lord has blessed us for another week. I am looking forward to how the Lord is going to continue to bless us this week. And what I do know is, even when we think we can't make it, the Lord still lets us know we can. Amen? Amen. Let us look to the throne of grace. All wise and loving God. Lord, we come before you this morning with concerns, with aches, with pains, with anxiety, Lord, with our thoughts wavering and not focused on you. 
Lord, we come to you this morning acknowledging the sins of this week. But Lord God, we are so grateful that we're able to come to you in the midst of our mess. Lord, we're grateful that we're able to approach you in the midst of our storm. And Lord, that if we simply call out the name of Jesus, that you promise to calm the storm to our sea, that you promise to plant our feet upon the solid rock when all ground around us feels like sinking sand. Lord God, late in the midnight hour, when the tears flow down our faces and our friends and family are not there, Lord, you promised that you would be with us, that you would never leave us nor forsake us. And for all these mighty acts, Lord God, we acknowledge you this morning and simply cry out, thank you, Jesus, in this place. Lord God, we thank you because you allowed us to come into your house of worship just one more time. Lord, you gave us an opportunity to sing how great thou art, Lord. Lord God, that you heard it on high and that the angels were rejoicing as we lifted those words this morning, Lord. Giving you all the honor, glory, and praise, knowing that there's none like you, Lord. Knowing that there's no one that can do us like you do, Lord. There's no one that would choose to die for the sins of his creation. So, Lord God, we stand here this morning blessed. We stand here this morning renewed right now, Lord God, and we stand here this morning confirming our, our relationship with you. Right, right now, Lord, we just ask that you pause, Lord God, and that you go around the world as far as the east is from the west, Lord God, that you go to areas that were ravaged by storms, Lord God, that you touch people that are in 110 degree heat without air conditioning right now, Lord God. We ask that you go into the hospitals right now, Lord God, into the sick rooms right now, Lord God, and that you bring down your blessings and your healing upon all those that need it. Lord God, we ask that you be with those that be entering the hospital and be entering the operating room this week, Lord God. We ask that you touch them from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet, Lord God, that you would guide the hands of the doctors and the nurses, Lord God, and all those people that are there, that we count as your angels walking amongst us to do your will here on earth, Lord God. And we grant them peace, Lord God, and we grant them your courage. So right now, Lord, we just ask that you be in our midst, Lord God, that you bless this service, bless the musician, Lord God, bless the speaker that has been prepared for us this morning, Lord God. Bless her with a fresh anointing, Lord God, and a fresh word that comes straight from on high. Lord. So, Lord God, we just know that in times that we still live in perilous times, Lord God, Lord God, we still live in times where political unrest emerges itself as violence, Lord God. But we rebuke violence in the name of Jesus, Lord. Lord God, no matter what the affiliation, no matter whether you're an elephant or a donkey, Lord God, it does not matter, Lord God, because you do not will violence upon your people. So, Lord God, we just ask that you would grant peace in this country, Lord God. Lord God, that you would just stretch out your hand and simply say the words, peace. Be still. Lord God, we know that you're able to do all things. <laughs> So we count it as joy this morning that we call ourselves in the number. We count it as joy that we are, find our names listed in the Lamb's Book of Life, Lord. So we just thank you right now for watching over us and keeping us, Lord God. We ask and lift this prayer in the matchless name of your Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus. We call the price. And all who receive this prayer and agree this morning say amen, amen, and amen. Amen. Before we call our children to choir, can we do this song together? You all know it. Song said, Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the praises of our King rise among us. Let it rise. Come on, say it with me. In the glory of the Lord. Rise among us. In the glory of the Lord. Rise among us. And the praises of the praises of our King. 
Put your hands together and we invite our children's part to come on up. Thank you. 
Amen. Why don't you put your hands together and give God praise? We don't want to exclude any of the children. So if any children want to come up and say with the children, I think everybody knows this song. Any children want to come up and sing and be a part of the children's choir? You don't have to. It doesn't have to be children. It can be adults. parents that are supporting these children and loved ones yeah. that are supporting these children. Anybody wants to come up with this next song? Everybody knows this song. Come on. Come on. Can we, can, we, can we say it like this? If you think you can sing. <laughs> Come on up and help the young people. Can we do that? I don't want to start calling roll because I'm going to start calling names. If you got a voice, we ask you to come sing. So, yeah, like Michael Sims, come on. Caitlin, come on. See, y'all making me call you now. Linda Tempe, come on. Potts, y'all come on. Rhonda, come on. Um, yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's not like making a nice beat. Miss Pat, you stay right back there. Yeah, you stay right there. You good. You good, Miss Pat. You direct us from the back, Miss Pat. You got it. Doing that. Y'all direct. Just come on up. Come on. Thank you. 
Somebody give a break. Now we didn't got y'all up here. Y'all don't want to leave now. What y'all want to sing again? I mean, we can sing another song if you need to. Oh, I can't. All, all, all children, all children, come on back up. Come on, children. Young, young people's moment. All children, come on. Come on, children. Megan, I mean, you got to come back up. Bring the children. Bring the children. Come on. Come on, kids. Come on, young folks. Thank you, Megan. <laughs> you do that? <laughs> well, they, they want to steal over there. So we're going to just get over here. How about that? But look, you know what we do first of all, right? Wave to those people who are sitting at home on Facebook or on um, Zoom. Just wave to them and say, we love you. We love you. <laughs> We love you. There you go. You're talking to God. But listen, I could not wait to get here today. Couldn't wait. Couldn't wait. Learned something new yesterday. The problem is I didn't have anybody to practice on. Didn't have anybody to practice on. So I figured since you were going to be here today, I could practice on you. How about that? Uh, you don't think that's a good idea? I think it's a marvelous idea. So Here's, here's what we're going to do. This towel, don't get scared about the towel. You know, I just have to keep the trustees happy here. So there you go. <laughs> so here's the word that I learned. I learned this word that says it's called a polymer. Anybody know what that is? No, you don't, because I didn't know what it was. A polymer is anything that has a lot of molecules in it, and it just forms something. And the, the, look at my water just spilled over there. But at any rate, here is an example of a polymer, a plastic bag. Isn't that something? You didn't know that, did you, Sheldon? No, you didn't. So here is a polymer. It's a plastic bag. Who didn't know that? Well, I'm schooling you today. How about that? So here's the plastic bag. It's a polymer. But in this science experiment, they asked that we take a plastic bag full of water. And in that plastic bag full of water, I could do an experiment and would not drop 
not one drop on your head. So I could hold this bag over your head and punch a hole in it and you wouldn't get wet. You wouldn't get wet. You don't believe me? You don't trust me? Well, let's try it anyway. Uh, Sheldon, come on down here and help me. Let's, let's try it. So what would happen is I could stick this pencil, brave, I could poke this pencil right through this polymer or this plastic bag and not spill a drop. Not spill a drop. Watch me. Watch me. Here we go. Did I spill? Did I spill a drop? Not one drop did I spill. Something else, ain't it? Science is wonderful. So there is not one drop of water that came through here. Let's let's try another. That's right. Yeah, well, it, you might, if one, one worked, well, let's try this one. Not a drop. Look at that. Not a drop. And so here's what happens. Polymers do this. If a hole is poked in it, the polymers kind of suck up the hole so that nothing goes through. So when I put the pencil in, this polymer or this plastic bag just took up the spot. And so nothing is going to get through there. Isn't that something? That is just interesting. Now you do that in your next science okay. project. Okay. <laughs> so here we go. So now look, watch this. What do you think boys and girls would happen if I were to pull one of these pencils out? I would spill, you think I would spill water? You want to try? Try to see. Let, 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 let's, let's try. Here we go. Let's try. Let's try. There it is. It, it's coming out. So look, look. So this hole did not get plugged in because it has nothing in it, right? If we would pull this one out, same thing's going to happen. There it goes. Water's coming out. But I wonder if we could do some supposing today. You want to suppose with me? Let's do some supposing. Yes, yeah, sure, we're going to do some supposing. Suppose, watch this. Now, suppose this plastic bag or this polymer were God. Just suppose this was God. And just suppose this pencil was some of life's tragedy, some of stuff that life brings on to us, you know, like the age. And if we were to trust God, and just trust him to take care of us in our old age. There you go. There you go. He sucks it up and he takes it on his own. Suppose, just suppose that you had a pet that was just dying and you felt really, really sad. Look, when you trust God, he wraps himself around. Be a little, a little bit happier, right? May not replace your pet, but you will not grieve as much. Well, let's try one more. <laughs> you think it's going to? Well, let's try this one. Suppose you were going to have a test in school and you were nervous as a jaybird about that test. Just nervous. So look, 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 look. You could trust God. And guess what happens? You can trust God and things will work out just what? Fine. Just fine. Look, watch this. Watch this. Watch. watch, watch, watch. It's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. Look, let's, let's try it on this side. Maybe, maybe we can put it in a different way. But suppose you were Miss Pat. You know, and you woke up during the night and you heard somebody in your house. You know nobody lives in there but you. You know, and you heard something in your house. All I needed to do was to trust God that he would be there with me and everything would be all right. Everything would be all right. So to lesson today was about polymers, the plastic bag, also about trust, trusting in God, trusting that he will do everything that he has promised you that he would do. Never, ever, ever went back on a promise, did he? Never did. So all we need to do is to remember to trust God. Just trust him. Trust him. 
Trust him. Trust him. Shall we pray? My head's okay. My hands are wet. So if you don't want to hold my hand because it's wet, I'm going to dry it. Now it's dry. Father, we thank you for all of your many, many blessings. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that we can learn lessons even from science experiments. Father, we know that all things, all good things come from you. And so, Father, we thank you today for this lesson about polymers and about the lesson that we learned in trusting. Father, we ask that you continue to guide, direct, and bless us. Help us to always trust in you. And life is just going to be all right. We ask all of these blessings in your most holy name. Amen. 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 Go back and tell your mommy or your daddy or somebody to say, trust God. Trust him. It's good to know you can come to church and not only get Jesus, but get a educational lesson as well. Yeah, um, I was paying attention, trustees. I was waiting for it to be a mess because I was going to tell Miss Pat she had to take care of that, but. I'm glad it all worked out just right. Weren't those children brave? Amen. Because um, I, I like Miss Pat. I can even say I love Miss Pat. But when she talked about poking holes with the water, you on your own now, Miss Pat. I wait. It's like what I told y'all. When Moses got to the Red Sea, somebody said, you go first. And I'll wait and see what happens. Um, Sheldon was brave, too. I was, I was impressed that he went and got down there. But... It's again, it's just good to be here. Good. The ushers are ready. Now comes the time for us to give back to the Lord that which the Lord has blessed us with in our tithes and our offering. Tithes and offering. Come on forward. Come on. Come on. If you are at home, we're going to give you some time to go if you're in our virtual space. Remember, there are several ways to give. If you are with us, of course, you can. Uh, drop it in the basket. But even if you're with us, you can still go on our website and use the PayPal. You can go through Givelify. So if you if you said, Pastor, I forgot today, I would tell you go on the website, hit that PayPal button, or go and Givelify. You can still give. Amen. You can mail it to the church at 548 Queenstown Road, 21144. You can put it in the Dropbox, or you can go through your bank. You can go through your bank. This month, this month, our our missional offering for the month is neon. It is neon this month. So if you want to do that, you drop it in. Also, if you didn't do our sacrificial offering last Monday, it's last Sunday, you can do that as well. You can do that as well. Um, remember, please still do not use Cash App. We are in the in the process of starting to use some new ways to give. And I can tell you Cash App will not be one of them. We are removing Cash App altogether but we will let you all know when that comes out. So if you have your offering ready, simply lift it up to the Lord, lift it to the Lord. Gracious and all wise God, we come right now to give back to you that which you have blessed us with. Lord, we ask that you bless the gift, bless the giver. But more than that, Lord, allow us to use these gifts to continue to build the kingdom. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. I'll sing to my Lord. I'll sing to my Lord. Well, now he's done great. He's done great things. He's done great things. I'll say yes, yes, yes to my Lord. I'll say yes to my Lord. I'll say yes. To my Lord, He's done great things. He's done great. He's done great things. He's done great things. I'll say yes, yes, yes to my Lord. Oh, woke me up this morning and He started me on my way. 
Lays my feet on straight street. Gave me the rain that day. He's done great. He's done great things. He's done great things. He's done great things. I'll say yes, 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 yes to my Lord. Woke me up this morning. Then he started me on my way. Well, he placed my feet on straight street. He's done great things. 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 I'll say yes, 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 yes to my Lord. All things, all things. And of thine own, and of thine, have we given? Have we given? Uh, Amen. 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 We're going to have Michelle Churchill now come up, read scriptures. After the scriptures, if it's all right, I'm going to ask Sheldon to give us total praise. After total praise, the next voice that we will hear in this building will be that of Anna Schlickard. Anna Schlickard, can we just thank the Lord for her right now? So, so this morning, I can say this and say it with a smile. Although we are blessed this morning to have our very own district superintendent in our house, she is not the spotlight for the day. It is her daughter. Amen. 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 Our scripture lesson for today is coming from Ephesians chapter 1, verses 3 through 14. <clears throat> and it reads, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places, just as he chooses us in Christ before the foundation of the world to be holy and blameless before him in love. He destined us for adoption as his children through Jesus Christ, according to the good pleasure of his will, to the praise of his glorious grace that he freely bestowed on us in the beloved. In him, we have redemption through his blood and forgiveness of our trespasses according to the riches of his grace that he lavished on us. With all wisdom and insight, he has made known to us the mystery of his will according to his good pleasure that he set forth in Christ as a plan of the fullness of time to gather up all things in him, things in heaven and things on earth. In Christ, we have also obtained an inheritance having been destined according to the purpose of him who accomplishes all things according to his counsel and will so that we who were the first to set hope, our hope on Christ might live for the praise of his glory. In him you also, when in him you also, when you had heard of heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, and had believed in him, were marked with the seal of the promised Holy Spirit. This is the pledge of our inheritance toward redemption of God's own people, to the praise of his glory. Amen. Please stand for the gospel lesson. This is coming from Mark chapter 6, verses 14 through 29. <clears throat> King Herod heard of it, for Jesus' name had become known. Some were saying, John the baptizer has been raised from the dead, and for this reason, these powers are at work in him. But others said, it is El Elijah, and others said, it is a prophet like one of the prophets of old. But when Herod heard of it, he said, John, whom I beheaded, has been raised. For Herod himself had sent men who arrested John, 
bound him and put him in prison on account of Herodias, his brother Philip's wife, because Herod had married her. For John had been telling Herod, it is not lawful for you to have your brother's wife. And Herodias had a grudge against him and wanted to kill him, but she could not, for Herod feared John, knowing that he was a righteous and holy man, and he protected him. When he heard him, he was greatly perplexed, and yet he liked to listen to him. But an opportunity came when Herod, on his birthday, gave a banquet for his courtiers and officers and for the leaders of Galilee. When his daughter Herodias came in and danced, she pleased Herod and his guests. And the king said to the girl, ask me for whatever you wish and I will give it. And he solemnly swore to her, whatever you ask me, I will give you even half of my kingdom. She went out and said to her mother, what should I ask for? She replied, the head of John the baptizer. Immediately, she rushed back to the king and requested, I want, to, I want you to give me at once the head of John the baptizer on a platter. The king was great, was deeply grieved, yet out of regard for his oaths and for his guests, he did not want to refuse her. Immediately, the king sent a soldier of the guard with orders to bring John's head. He went and beheaded him in the prison, brought his head on a platter, and gave it to the girl. Then the girl gave it to her mother. When his disciples heard about it, they came and took the body and laid it in a tomb. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. You know, I'm a, I'm a, I am can and I am obedient at times. Um, Y'all know we the best United Methodist Church on Queenstown Road, and it has come to my attention um, Elder Potts from my better half. Um, Sister Nita, we appreciate you coming up, but um, somebody wants to know where Nana is, so I think you need to make your way on back there because um, she looking for you. Amen. Amen. And, and I, I want everybody to be happy while they can be. Amen. Here she comes. We don't worry, Brooklyn. We be sending her to you right now. Yeah. Yeah. It's all right. It's all right. And again, thank you so much for helping us out this morning. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So this morning, if it's all right with us, before we hear Anna, can we just can we just lift this total praise up just for a little for for a little bit? Amen. Come on, let's sing together, Lord. Uh, my help. No and I lift my hand. <laughs> Thank 
Something good coming from that side. Come on. One more time. Pass time. Amen. Put your hands together and give God praise. Time for the word. It's it's time to start. All right. Yeah. Good morning. Thank you guys for having me. First of all, this is a really great opportunity. And I haven't really heard of that many other churches who just, you know, invite youth to come and speak. So this is a really great privilege for me. So so thank you. Uh, um so you may not know this, but later today, around three o'clock, I'm actually going off to West River, which is one of our United Methodist summer camps for a week called Ultimate Mid-High, and my sister's going as well. So I thought today I would talk a little bit about some of the things you may need to know if you're going to camp or, you know, just when you wake up, some things that are important to know. So first off, I want to talk about the banana boat. So the banana boat is a long inflatable raft that you sit on, right? And a motorboat comes and it pulls you around and it's really fun. The problem is sometimes you fall off, sometimes it flips over. And if you know anything about where West River is located, it's on the West River, right? And there's a lot of jellyfish. So it's not a fun experience when you fall off. But I think there's a lot to be learned about this. You know, I mean, it taught, it kind of, reminds me of hanging on to God, right? Hanging yeah. on to what's important to you, right? Yeah. You don't want to fall off because then the jellyfish will get you, right? <laughs> so, um, you know, just thinking about writing this, I was reading through the Bible, right? And I was looking through some verses. So one of the ones that I found that I think really relates to this is John 15, 5. And it reads, I am the vine, you are the branches. Yeah. Those who abide in me and I bear that... Ooh, those who abide in me and I in them bear much fruit, because apart from me, you can do nothing. My, my, that's, my. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> Number two. Wait. Oh, I forgot to mention that. This is a top ten list. You might be familiar with these. So that was number one. So number two, the rock wall, right? So a lot of people get pretty scared doing the rock wall. I got really scared the first time I did the rock wall. But... When you think about it, it's a really great analogy for how God protects you and keeps you safe, right? Climbing up, you feel like you're just going up by yourself. You feel like there's nothing around you. But then, you know, you remember there's a safety line behind you. You got people on the ground. They're helping you. You got friends. They're encouraging you. They're cheering you on. They'll be like, just keep going. Don't look down, right? You got to keep your eyes up. Keep your eyes on God, right? Because when you look at it, and that's when you start falling. That's when you get scared, okay? So another verse that goes with this is Joshua 1, 9. I hereby command you, be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened or dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. It's one of my favorite verses. <laughs> Number three, the giant swing. So the giant swing is one of West River's trademark activities, right? So... What you do is you get all harnessed in, and then the friends and the people in your group, they help to pull you up, right? And you go all the way up to the top, and then you and then you pull a little rope, and then you go swing it back down again, right? <laughs> so I think one of the most important things about this is that you can't do it alone. It's literally impossible to, mm. to just go up all by yourself. You need to have trust in others that they're going to help pull you up. And in reverse, you need to be able to help others, right? The other pe other people who are going up on the swing, they got to be able to trust in you. And so it's one of the, it's a really good team building exercise because you got to think, what can I do 
to show these people that I am trustworthy because I'm going to help them. I'm going to help them get up and I'm going to help them. And I'm going to encourage them and we're going to have a great time. Yeah. So if you look through one of the verses that goes really well with this is Ecclesiastes 4, 9 through 10, which is two are better than one because they have a good reward for their toil. For if they fall, which they do, <laughs> one will lift up the other. Whoa. But woe to the one who is alone and falls and does not have anyone to help. That's, that's really good. <laughs> All right, number four, the swim test. So everybody at West River is required to take a swim test before they go into the deep water because, you know, we want to make sure everybody's safe. So, but I think one of the important things is that it really highlights you can't just always go into the deep water right away. You can't just jump in and expect for everything to be all right. Now, if you do, there are always lifeguards, right? There's always a little bit of that safety net, but it's really important that you go kind of at your own pace, that you gradually get comfortable. And it's also um, a really great show of patience, right? Because, you know, sometimes you get all excited and you're like, man, I just want to go swimming. But, you know, you got to gotta think of the safe thing to do. So a verse that really highlights this is Romans 8, 20, Romans 8, 25. But if we hope for what we do not see, we wait for it with patience. All right, number five, canoeing. So canoeing is one of the many water activities or boating activities that people do when they go to West River. And for some people, it can be frustrating, right? Because you can't just do it all by yourself. You know, you want to just go as fast as you can, paddle, get to where you need to go. But it really shows how important teamwork and trust are, right? I mean, you can't all be steering the boat, right? You can't all be paddling all the time. But when you work together and you kind of give everybody one job, then you work at it and you get where you need to go. And it's, yeah, it's really great. Um, so a verse that really goes with this is 1 Corinthians 1.10. Now I appeal to you, brothers and sisters, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that all of you be in agreement and that there be no divisions among you, but that you be knit together in the same mind and the same purpose. Yeah. You really got to be knit together if you want to go canoeing, guys. Like, it's it's a struggle sometimes. <laughs> All right, number six. This is one of my favorites. That camp is make s'mores, right? Yeah. So, um, s'mores are really amazing. <laughs> They're so good. I, oh my gosh, my mouth is watering just thinking about s'mores. It's amazing. I'm so excited for this week, guys. <laughs> but I think, but when you think about it, everybody's kind of like a s'more in a way, right? We might not all be graham crackers, we might not all be marshmallows or chocolate, but we all come together to make something that's really yeah. enjoyable and really yeah. great, yeah. right? And there, you might not even be a traditional s'mores ingredient. Maybe you're a strawberry or some fudge or caramel, right? And those things, though you might, they might not be conventional, make a s'more way more amazing and unique than it already is. Right? And then, I mean, you could also think about it. Everybody makes their marshmallows a little differently, right? For me, I like that nice golden brown, gooey on the inside kind of thing. And over the years, I have perfected it. <laughs> like, it's great. If you guys ever come to camp, I'm, I'm going to be on marshmallow duty, okay? You can see for yourself. <laughs> but I know a lot of people who just want to go straight in and they just light their marshmallows on fire. Like, bam. Whew, here we go. And personally, it's not my approach, but I can respect that. You know, they say they like it for the crunch and the smoky flavor, which is fair, you know. Um, but there's actually like a perfect verse for this. It's 1 Corinthians 12, 4 through 6. Now there are varieties of gifts, but well, there are varieties of gifts, but the same spirit. There are varieties of services, but the same Lord. And there are varieties of activities, but it is the same God who activates all of them in everyone. It's really, it's really cool. All right, number seven. And I personally am a two-time champion at this, the belly flop competition, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> now, so we always do a belly flop competition, usually on Thursday or Friday right because why not it's it's so fun so because i have you know been getting those those medals for it um the two years that i've attended this camp specifically a lot of people will come up to me and be like hey you're really 
really weirdly good at belly flops. Um, can you teach me your ways? Because you know, I want I want some of that glory. I want some of those <laughs> those belly flop trophies, right? <laughs> and one thing I always say is that the impact of it is never as bad as you think it's gonna be, right? If you're prepared for it, like hitting the water is never as bad or painful as you think it's going to be, right? Because then you get in your head, you're like, oh man, it's going to hurt a lot. Just go for it. That's what I always say, right? You know, don't be afraid, right? God is with you. This is church camp, guys. Come on, have a little faith, right? <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, you know, again, read through the Bible and I stumbled upon Deuteronomy 31, 6. Be strong and bold. Have no fear, or, have no fear or dread of them. Because it is the Lord your God who goes with you. He will not fail you or forsake you, right? And the light birds won't either, guys. Keep that in mind. All right. Number eight, French bracelets. So, you know, if you've been to camp before, you might have experience making friendship bracelets. I have a few on. Two of these have been on for like two years. It's these things are hard for sometimes. So, so but friendship bracelets are really cool because not only are, are there a lot of ways you can make them, but the process of making them just really unites people, right? I mean, you have to spend time and energy making something, and after you're done, the person might wear it to a whole host of places, and they're going to be thinking of you. It's a, like, it's a token of your compassion and love for that person. I mean, my friendship bracelets have been to multiple countries, right? They've, they've felt the hot heat of a hundred degree summer. They've survived blizzards. Like it's, and every single time I look at these, I think of all of the friendships that I've made throughout the years, right? And those friends, they might not remember me very well, but I sure remember them, okay? Because it, it, it's, it's an impact, okay? So I think God sometimes gives us little friendship bracelets, right? I mean, like, you look at a beautiful sunset. That's God saying, yeah, man, I care for you. I love you. You needed to see that today, right? Yeah. You see, you know, a really pretty flower, right? Or just like the song of some cool birds. That's like, that's pretty cool. That's that's God's friendship bracelets when I think about it. So if you look at Psalm 133.1, it's how good and pleasant it is when God's people yeah. live together in unity, yeah. right? Friendship bracelets, they draw us together. All right, number nine. We're almost finished, guys. Don't worry. <laughs> and it's it's one of the more important ones. I probably should have put it a little higher, but oh well. Drink water. <laughs> it's quite important. When you're out in the sun and you're playing and you're enjoying camp, it's really easy to forget the basics, right? I mean, you're out, you're playing gaga ball, or you're in the pool, or you're doing the rock ball or banana boat, right? And you're so caught up in the activities that you forget to take care of yourself, right? You forget to drink water, apply bug spray or sunscreen, right? And that can be really dangerous because as somebody who has definitely gotten sunburned at camp before, it's not fun. You got to be on top of that, right? But lucky for us, God is there to help us, right? So God is you know, whispering in the staff's ear, like, hey, tell them to drink water, because I know they ain't drinking enough water. <laughs> All right, and then, I mean, again, if you look at it, you look at God feeding people, so a great example of this is Matthew 15, 15 through 16. Yeah. When it was evening, the disciples came to him and said, this is a deserted place, and the hour is now late. Send the crowds away so that they may go into the village and buy food for themselves. But Jesus said to them, they need not go away. You give them something to eat. And if you know how that story continues, you know that Jesus then went on to feed thousands of people, right? Everybody got their share. So while it is important to remember, God's going to take care of you. And, you know, sometimes it's just that little nudge of, hey, you're maybe getting a little sun kiss. You should, should take care of that. All right. Number 10, no phones. So to some, I know this is um, a little bit of a controversial rule, right? They're like, oh man, I really wanted to continue my Snapchat streak, but oh well. <laughs> but it's, it's really important to be present, right? To ignore the distractions because 
When you're on your screens all the time, when you're glued to your phone, watching or reading the news all the time, you know, sometimes you just, you forget about all of the great things that are happening right around you. And it's really easy, especially when the world feels like it's shaken by unrest or violence, it's really easy to forget that God is still there and he still cares about you and he's begging you, just be present, appreciate what I've done for you, right? So when people, you know, just kind of mumble under their breath, oh man, I really wish I could play my my mobile games right now. I'm like, what? We have card games and friendship bracelets, so try that. All right, and then last Bible verse is Matthew 6, 34. So do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will bring worries of its own. Today's trouble is enough for today. So if you ever go to camp or, you know, if you wake up and you think, I kind of need a top 10 list today, keep this in mind, right? You take care of yourself, hang on to that banana boat, don't let go, and remember that God's always there. He's you know, acting as a lifeline for you, and he's not going to let you go. There are other people around you that have been sent by God to help you. So, you know, just appreciate that. You know, you got to look back and reflect on that. I also hope that you guys might consider sponsoring some kids to go to camp because it's a really fun time. They got great food compared to some other camps I've been to recently. So I'd really think about it. Thank you. You got the whole world in the sand. You got the whole world in the sand. Can we just thank the Lord one more time for having the slicker this morning? So, Anna, part of what I didn't tell you when I sent you the email is. Uh, once you say yes, I just put you on the rotating schedule. Amen. So I just keep sending you that email whenever you want to come. It's all right. But in all honesty, I thank you. I thank you for saying yes. And um, yes, it, it was a, um, it's something that we started about, I think, about a year ago now. And we do all we can because although sometimes we don't want to admit it, every day that the Lord allows us to get up, it means we're getting just a little more seasoned. Amen. And if we don't have some younger legs and some younger voices and some younger thoughts to pick up the baton and take it from us, then where will the church be? So I do think it's an opportunity. Um, I can't say this too loud, but it's okay because the yes will help me out. Um, wouldn't bother me if I could go 52 weeks and get a young person up in here every Sunday. Amen. I would support it because I realize that they are not the church of the future. They are the church right now. So I thank each and every young person who has stepped and come up on the second Sundays for us. Um, right now, we're going to open the doors of the church. There may be someone who does not know Jesus for the pardoning of their sin. There may be one who is without a church home. And there may be one who has just simply slipped by the wayside of the road. So if that is you this morning, we offer Christ to you right now. We offer Christ. Jesus. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So before we open the altar for prayer, I'm going to ask, I, I think she didn't respond to me, but I think she is. Uh, Ms. Pat, you have those ready? Oh, okay. Okay. I was about to say, no, Ms. Pat, they didn't make it yet. They didn't mind make it yet. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And so, um, Again, I told you all this was about Anna today. So we're going to ask Anna to come up. I'm going to meet you right down here. I'm going to meet you down here. Anna. But as Anna comes up, also, um, we're going to ask our DS, Sarah Slicker, to come up because a bird told us that tomorrow is your birthday. <laughs> amen. 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 We found out that tomorrow is your birthday and we didn't want you to think that we had forgot you. 
Um, so on behalf of Metropolitan, the best United Methodist Church on Queenstown Road with the best United Methodist young people on Queenstown Road, let me say thank you. But also, Anna, this is for you. That is for you. And again, we thank you so much for allowing the Lord to say, yes, um, I guess I'm going to have to come get some s'mores because you got really excited. <laughs> And you're still excited about those s'mores. Um, so for all those people who burn their s'mores, um, I guess, let me see, I see Jenny back there and Michael, I guess now when we do back to school and you all want to do s'mores, I'm sorry, y'all done got kicked to the side. We going, huh? Yeah, that, that's what I'm about to say. We're going to have to put the invite out to Anna to come and hit them s'mores for us because she said, although you all like to burn them, that's your thing, but she has perfected the art of making s'mores. So we're going to get that. Um, and I thought that was a great analogy. Um, you all did not realize that we were s'mores. Um, how God can just put all those ingredients together and make it come out tasting so wonderful. Um, Anna, we're going to do one more thing with you. I'm going to ask um, Michael Sims, Michelle Churchill, Aaron, I'm going to bug Jenny. Because one thing we like to do is with our young people, um, we like to pray with them. And I know it's other young people. So I'm going to ask young people to come up because I don't want your parents to go home and say the pastor didn't ask us to come up either. But we want to take time out to pray for Anna um, and all the young people. And then anyone else who would like to join, you all get in the back. You just line up right behind them. But come on, Michael Sims. Come on, Michelle. Yeah, come on, come on, come on. Come on, young people. Come on, young people. And now that the young people are up here, anybody else who wants to join in this altar prayer, come on, come on, come on. Come on, it's all right. Come on, wherever. Wherever. Now, just because you're not young doesn't mean you can't come up. The altar is open for prayer. The altar is open for prayer. So let me see. Nat, can you make your way up? Come on. I'm trying to get every lay server. Rhonda, can you make your way up? Who am I missing? Who am I missing? Am I missing anybody? No, 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 no. No. Be blessed, my brother. You want to come up? You want to come up and stand with your sister? You said she on her own. <laughs> young people. I love young people. I really do. I love them. 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 And we pray. Gracious and all wise God, we are so thankful. I'm sorry, I'm going to stop. Come on, Miss Gertrude. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. In fact, Miss Gertrude, make your way right on up here next to me. Amen. Don't look at me like that now. Come on. I saw that look. Come on, make your way up here with me. And I had Miss Gertrude making her way up here because you know what? When we put young people in the house, it's good to see where we started. And although she is not the oldest member here, sorry, although she is not the most seasoned, I don't like that word at all. Season is much better. It's good to see where we were to also then see where we're going. So can we pray? Gracious and all wise God, we come right now, first and foremost saying thank you for another worship experience. Lord, we thank you for these young people who are in the house, but we also thank you for those who are with us virtually. We ask right now, Lord, that you wrap your loving arms around them and keep them by your power divine. Lord, go before them and make their paths safe, easy, and successful. But more than that, bless their homes, bless their friends, and bless their families. Then, Lord, we come this morning to thank you for every single season person under the sound of my voice this morning. We thank you because it was because of them that they gave us the blueprint, Lord. But now, Lord, we thank you that they are beginning to pass the blueprint on and allow those who are just a little bit younger than we are to take the blueprint and change it, but keep the message the same. Uh, some of us may have come this morning not understanding that although it, a s'mores is something we eat, when we think about how it works, and how Jesus puts us all together and allows us to come out tasting as sweet as a s'more, then all we can simply do this morning is say, Lord, we thank you for how you continue to bless us. Well, we thank you this morning for Anna Schlicker, who was not afraid or ashamed to stand up and let the entire world know, I serve a risen Savior 
who is in the world today. We thank you for her mother, her father. We thank you for her sister. But more than that, we thank you because, Lord, at the end of the day, when we can hear a young person get up and tell us how even in the midst of the rock climb, the Lord is right there with us, allowing us to continue to climb higher and higher, we simply say thank you. So right now, Lord, we ask that you continue to bless us and keep us. And Lord, however you use us, we'll be satisfied. For it's in the precious name of Jesus, who is the Christ, that all God's children say amen, amen, and amen, amen. Thank you all. Thank you all. I'll pray for you. You pray for me and watch God chase me. Tech team, what announcements do we have this morning? What announcements do we have? I know the women are going to sight and sound for Daniel. I know they're going for Daniel on um help me out, Miss Jeanette. Thank you, September 27th. And your your deposit was due this Sunday, right? End of this month, we need to have your deposit turned in. Have your deposit turned in. Also, we are doing a blood drive and we have to get 40 people. If we can get 40 people to give blood, then they will come right here to Metropolitan and do a blood drive. Right now, we still need 25, 25. So come on, you all, give your arms up. Talk to your family and friends. Just tell them, come on, get some blood. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. Uh, July 28th. Fourth Sunday here, we'll be having our family and friends day. We'll be having our family and friends day. Sister Karen Hall is the chairperson. She's the chair of that. So we would ask that you come on out on that Sunday. Start telling your family members and your friends. Tell them, come on and join us. There will be a meal in between the services. July 26 at 7 p.m. at John Wesley. Our very own Sheldon Brown will be hosting another Friday Night Live. Go on over to John Wesley and be blessed. You all know it was good because we had it here already and it was a good time. Tickets are $15. Uh, yeah, food pantry is every third Friday. Afternoon prayer line is 12 o'clock on Thursdays. Our Wednesday 12 noon Bible study, the number is 774-220-4000. The code is 00548, blah, 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 blah. Uh-huh. Except for, yeah, okay, keep on going. Keep on going. Again, remember, we are in need of greeters. I, I see that we are getting some new greeters out there, so I, I'm assuming that that is working. Also, tech team is still working for, looking for rather, anyone who would like to help um, do the, the streaming. And I believe after that, all minds are satisfied. Once again, this morning, can we thank the Lord, not only for how he is blessed in this place, but also how he blessed us with a speaker this morning. Amen. 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 I would not, I, I would not be um, this to at least, at least look as the DS and say, sir, would you like to say anything? Amen. I figured she was going to say no, but I just want to make sure. So if all minds are satisfied, can we stand all over the building and look to the Lord to be this mess? Now unto him who is able to keep us from falling and to present us faultless before his throne with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, I say, be glory, majesty, dominion, and power. Now henceforth and even forevermore, let all God's children say amen, amen, and amen, amen. Go in peace, go in peace. Let the church live you love him, say. You love him, say.